Alright folks, we are back for round two on the draw again. Our last up and then ended up coming back th with three minutes on the clock, but we drew a martial coup off search and we just destroyed them. Um, this hand is eh, a lot of five drops. If we draw good, if we draw well, it's gonna be nice. I don't think we can keep it though. It's just just not doing anything. Yeah, this one is not amazing, but the Wrath of God helps with coming back from behind. We bottom the, the planes. We have we, we need blue at this point. We don't need we don't really need white. I mean lands in general are not so bad, but we really need to draw the second blue. Planes is kind of useless. Looks like it could be a control mirror. Or not. <laughs> declaration in stone. Just gonna declaration in stone that thing. It's not great. We trade two mana for two mana and we give them a clue. And we already mulligan. It's not ideal. The problem is they could have counter spells in the back. So we're not sure Day of Judgment is actually gonna resolve. Uh, and we might not hit the Force Land. It's a bit clunky if they were, uh, huh, Delver. So it's mono blue aggro. That's something new. That was a, an insanely good top deck, especially since Gideon typically makes the opponent, I mean, usually they make the opponent um, overcome it a little bit since, uh, you know, they want to deal with it, and just one or two creatures not going to do it. Please will always dodge. So even three on mono blue, yeah, they, they just they are just on mono blue uh, aggro. Hopefully we draw land here. We didn't. That is really clunky. That sucks a lot. Uh, if we had a heat land here, I think we could we would be in very good shape to just win. As it is, we're probably just gonna lose, unfortunately. Especially if they can untap and they have a account spell. That sucked. I guess I should have kept, kept my planes on top and not be too greedy. Hopefully they don't play opposition here, otherwise we just straight up lose. I guess if they had opposition they would have played it instead of attacking Gideon. Alright, well let's try to do that. I have this feeling it's not gonna resolve though. Oh, it did resolve. Okay, great. Maybe they're just missing a color, yeah, I guess. Yeah, the, the mono blue aggro did not seem very likely. That's a big problem. Ah, <sighs> clunky. <laughs> I guess we'd be in mad, be, much better shape if I had kept my um, my planes. This play kind of. I guess it was too greedy. With the planes here, if I had kept the planes on top, turn one or zero rather, we'd be winning that I think. And now there's. There's like, yeah, especially after after drawing battle skill here, we're close to zero percent chance to win. Oh, that that hurts. I guess I'm getting, I'm just a little bit too greedy with my lands, maybe. So it looks like that one's on blue white, but not really blue white control, blue white aggro. Seems like it should be a pretty good matchup for us again. I'm a little bit, would be a little bit more worried worried about faster deck or more controlly deck, but. This seems to be table <laughs> with enough lands. Yeah, they're, they're really playing a more more aggressive deck, I guess. All right, can this hit anything good? We can't really deal with Dragon Lord. I guess we Declaration Stone's gone. 
Nah, just not gonna show more cards. All right, hopefully we can uh, not mulligan into Mask Rude. Uh, yeah, I like Charles more than Reflector in this matchup, pretty sure. And then Findant are actually kind of good here, though. Doesn't play the best with Dodge. I think we'll just keep it this way. And hopefully get a slightly better draw. This one could have been better if I had kept the planes again. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that when I put it on the bottom it was wrong. Maybe it was not the right play. It ended up costing us the, the game. But it could be still the right play to, to bottom. The thing is we had double white already so we really did not need it. The a white, we already had three lands. Yeah, well that might still have been too greedy. Especially since our deck is fairly mana hungry with a lot of big spells and these draws are rough. I think we'll have to keep that, but we've been mulliganing and drawing pretty poorly. I guess it's part of the deck having a high curve and playing three colors doesn't help with these kind of things, but Yeah, still. Ah, we need to hit white. We need to hit land, I guess. Lands would be good. Problem with vision is, is, is just not gonna save you if you if you just got second land. Yes, you will have lands by the time you cast it, but... And looks like it's on the net draw too, so... They will probably have Pact of Negation available when we will want to dodge. So, yeah, we can probably already concede, unfortunately. These two games were really rough and unpleasant. It is uh, partly due to the deck being high curve, three colored, and somewhat inconsistent. And also to not keeping a planes on top, which might or might not have been uh, right, but. If we don't hit land drop here, I'm just gonna concede. All right, GG. Yeah, not very pleasant, but uh, again, the only thing we could have done is you know drafting another deck or keeping the planes on top. Which again, I'm still not sure if it was the right play. Uh, I could see it being the right play. Probably I got a little bit too greedy, but yeah, not not so not so pleasant to play. All right, well it's a it's a league though. I mean it's a, it's Swiss, so we'll get to play the the last round no matter what. I'll I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.